The late, great Tom Fleming. You've reached Success Hotline, message number 10,187. I'm Dr. Rob Gilbert. And Tom Fleming was one of the greatest long-distance runners in the history of the state of New Jersey. Well, maybe in the history of the country. Why am I limiting it? He won the New York City Marathon twice. He came in second in Boston twice. And I was lucky enough to have him come to my classes every once in a while. So we talked about when he was a world-class runner, he trained like a world-class runner. He ran 125 to 150 miles a week. I don't drive 125 to 150 miles a week, and this guy's running 125 to 150 miles a week. So one of my students raised his hand and he said, uh, Coach, uh, you said you ran 125 to 150 miles a week. Did you always feel like running? And Tom Fleming one of the, gave one of the great answers of all time. He said, most days I didn't feel like running until I started running. Most days I didn't feel like running until I started running. See, success leaves clues. And Tom Fleming gave you a big piece of the success puzzle. See, don't wait until you feel like it to do it. Do it, and then you'll feel like it. So if you have that big project, then you say, well, when I feel like it, then I'll start the project. No, when you start the project, then you'll feel like doing the project. See, your actions create your attitudes. Your emotions create your emotions, and your movements create your moods. It's much easier to act your, your, act your way into a certain way of feeling than to feel your way into a certain way of acting. Let me say that correctly. It's much easier to act your way into a certain way of feeling than it is to feel yourself into a certain way of acting. See, your actions will provoke your feelings much more powerfully than your feelings will provoke your actions. So most days I didn't feel like running until I started running. Most days I didn't feel like writing until I started writing. Most days I didn't feel like selling until I started selling. Most days I didn't feel like practicing until I started practicing. Brilliant advice from a tremendous person and an incredible athlete. I miss you, Tom Fleming. Message over.